We're back. We're back. We're we back. made it. It's been We're a long back. run. We took a break. A uh, big break. New baby. Who's eight months old now. I miss flying. But we're back. We are making new videos, and today we are going to talk a little bit about our trip we just took. Well, just took is three months ago, four months ago, but we went to Disney for Christmas. Spent like Christmas or like New uh, Christmas Eve, yeah. Christmas Day. The whole deal. The whole deal. And we haven't been, I mean, we've been for Christmas Day. Uh, we went that one time in 2018, like just for Christmas Eve and the Christmas Day. And then, um, came back in 2010 yeah it's been a long time we went for christmas but you know now with a baby do a all the kids different stuff. experience oh yeah no we didn't go for us at all we went for for our for our daughter so um we're gonna basically give our input since we've been going to disney now for 14 years our input a little bit about if the party is worth it um i do not honestly know your kind of opinion i i've got mine um and we're gonna start with I think price. We paid two hundred bucks a person. Aubrey's free. Yeah. <laughs> so Gotta kids go in there yeah, small. Yeah. Kids under three are free. I think for park tickets and for the party. Mm -hmm. So we went um, before my parents got there, and it was two hundred dollars a person. And if I compare just my experience with the time to me, I'd say it's worth it. I've got my reasons, but do you think it's worth it based off the cost? what we got out of it i do think it's worth it yeah for 200 bucks a person yep it's borderline because if you make it 229 i'm probably not there <laughs> you're <laughs> like, pulling back on your ticket like choice. like they just i know next year they're probably gonna make it 219 and then 249 and then 300 dollars. eventually it's gonna get ridiculous they but gotta I, pay for the cookies yeah <laughs> They're this big. <laughs> They're good though. Those cookies are cookies good. Cookies were good. The drinks were good. We didn't get touring the thing was hard because you get like an option of like you get a map. And we could have done it if we just would have spent the majority of the night trying to knock out these cookie and drink stations. Yeah. You, you know? kind of have to just do what you're gonna do and then look for the cookie spot because you'll see like a long line and a lot of people around and you kind of just jump in and grab your cookie. At least that's the way that we did it. I mean, we had the baby, so it was a whole new experience for us, but yeah, those lines were, we didn't were really crazy. check the map and go to the cookies. We kind of just got cookies in where we were at. Well, I think humans are creatures of habit too. And we've had a habit for years of, Ride, 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 ride. That's true. So while people are flooding the cookie stands, my brain's like, what's the ride like line for pirates? What's Space Mountain like? What's Seven Doors Mine Train like? And I'm trying to get, you know, my value in my head is all ride based. If I can pay $200 and skip the lines and ride for five hours at night, I mean, that's good. I mean, we've shut down the park before by ourselves. Yeah. Last ride on Splash Mountain. We were. We've walked out with cast members sweeping and cleaning up, and not a soul in sight. So I mean, that's how running our... from ride to ride. <laughs> yeah, that's how our get on minds, the last one. Yeah, our minds are geared that way now, but with Aubrey, it's different. So um, we're kind of old now. Yeah, let's slow down a little bit. <laughs> slow down just a bit. Um, but the wait times uh, for the rides were low. They were yeah, they were really super low. low, which hold at that part of my brain like. Gosh, get on Space Mountain as much as humanly possible. I think I wrote it five times. <laughs> yeah, because they actually had the red and green lights yeah. and changed the music, which was really cool. I didn't like it. You didn't? No. So she liked the Christmas theme. I'm pitch black. Pitch black. So Halloween, when they did it, and they turned off everything, and they turned off the the uh, all the lights. It was it Halloween? Yeah, but the music was cool. It was like hyping yeah, you up. Like it wasn't like was, a holly yeah. jolly vibe. Yeah, that's true. But when it's pitch black, is like it is the coolest to me. I will say that the green and red lights were cool, but pitch black is cool. You can't see what you're doing. To each his own, I guess. I guess, yeah. Can't agree on everything. <laughs> we agree on so much. <laughs> um, so ride times low. I'm going to Disney from 2010 to now if you told me even if it wasn't a christmas theme party that i could pay 200 dollars and be there all night with low lines 
I would. Yeah. 100%. So if they keep it at 200 bucks and we're there for Christmas, I mean, that's something that I'd probably do again, especially with baby being older. And then if she grows, be able to ride more stuff. Definitely, yeah. Because we kind of had to switch off. That was like the only bummer. Yeah. Being new parents and, you know, if your child is obviously not able to ride anything. But we got her on Pirates. She could ride a few things. Her yeah. first ride was Pirates of Caribbean. She did it awesome. Yep. But we um, were riding space by ourselves. Uh, I was going to say Splash, but <laughs> couldn't ride Splash. She got on the Haunted Mansion. She yeah. Liked that too. That's the ride that kind of let me down on Christmas. Was oh, it supposed yeah. to be themed? Um, and the theme was like very like they had like so every holiday as some of you probably know you get different rides that are themed right like space mountain we just said had green and yeah. red lights christmas theme music haunted mansion was labeled one of the ones that was supposed to be themed and we were looking and looking and looking and there wasn't i don't remember anything theme, noticeable theme, yeah um because like pirates was supposed to be themed in uh halloween and it was yeah they had the actors that was pretty cool when you're walking yeah in. so when they make that brochure though they've got to be a bit more. I mean, if, if there was something themed, I missed it. Well, pirates, they had Jack Sparrow. That was the dream come true. You know, he was getting outside. Go by our window, take a picture. <laughs> yeah, that was a good Johnny Depp, too. I think. It or, was. Or a good um, actor, yeah. Good actor. So, all right. Bottom last thought to me. Not, not last thought, but uh, I think it's worth it. I think that any party you can do at Disney, if you've never done it before, 100% worth it. If this is like your fifth time going, then I mean. Yeah, I would say, especially, you know, with a family, when you want to watch the fireworks show and the parades, it's kind of hard during the day. We've done that before where we've oh, fireworks are so gotten, good. you know, close to being trampled and things because there were so many people there. Hold on. We didn't get close to being trampled. <laughs> Not this guy. People but got close to being trampled themselves. This time, watching in the party, we were <laughs> able to get a more front row space and not have to worry about. No, it so was many awesome. People. We enjoyed. We enjoyed. Uh, yeah, the fireworks were were awesome. And when it snows, the parade was awesome. Mm -hmm. Um, going back to price real quick, I I, I forgot we're only two people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I guess when you start thinking about it, if you got a family of four. Yeah, you're you're, you're creeping rough. up on a, a a thousand bucks. Yeah, for for a party, um, so I guess if you've got just two people and a kid under three, hundred percent worth it. I can't speak on anybody else on if. I think I'll say if you plan on going and it's a once in a lifetime trip, then and you're never gonna go for like five ten years, hundred percent go all out. Um, you don't want to miss it. But if you're there every year, like us, uh. At least do it once. At least do it once. Yeah. But the mm -hmm. seasonal thing that they do that we will always try to do, Halloween. Definitely. Halloween. Killed it. Oh, killed it. Killed it, killed it, killed it. Would you say Halloween was better than Christmas? Yeah, I think Halloween's just more my thing, you know? I like to watch the Hocus Pocus show. Halloween, and just yeah. Halloween was more the fun. The villains in the parade. And I think Christmas was more meaningful. Yeah. Right, where we took our time, watched the fireworks, enjoyed the parade, where we um, you know, kind of just sat back more and enjoyed everything. Um yeah, so I, I think that Halloween was more fun. Christmas pulled on my heartstrings big time, sitting there holding our daughter, watching fireworks in Disney World. It is magical. Definitely. A hundred percent magical. That's why we keep going back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's we, we can't wait. We're thinking about Disney Cruise next. Um, but you know, as you guys know, we mentioned before, actually, which is pretty cool. Last time we did a video, it's been this long. We were just starting up on the travel agency stuff. Yeah. Right. Yep. And and now we're in it. I mean, we're. I would say we're doing awesome. You're doing awesome. Um. We've been sending people different places who are doing great and having fun. Just on, you know, now with Royal Caribbean, trying to get, you know, somebody sent out to Royal Caribbean on the new ship. What's it called? The Icon. The Icon. <sighs> Thing looks crazy. The Icon is cool, yeah. So we're trying to do a Disney cruise. I've never been on a Disney cruise. We've done the um, 
we've done the parks. Yeah. So it's time, I think it's to, time to check out what else is out there. Branch out a little bit. Yeah. But so we're going to post a video soon on our trip. Um, one thing though that we didn't really talk about is what do you think about the quality of the cookies? I think the cookie quality was good. You do? And actually, I like how they're all individually packaged. So, you know, you can really get your money's worth if you get back in line for those cookies and you can save some for later. Chocolate chip cookies reminded me of something you get out of Chips Ahoy bag. I think they're close to Mrs. Fields. But the gingerbread cookie was, that was really good. good yeah. That was good. You know, whatever that thing is, this wasn't part of the party, but we found this pineapple thing. Pineapple oh, upside yeah, down. Yeah, the Dole Whip. Cake with Dole Whip. Mm -hmm. That was real. 10 Please. out of 10. Wait till you see that on the video because we recorded that. We did, yeah. With my live reaction to, to trying it out. So we buy the magic carpets. Check Just thank God the they don't sell that around here <laughs> in South Carolina or else we need a bigger camera. We might be seeing Doctor now. <laughs> so, guys, that's it for us. Um, We want to do this video to let you know how our trip went. But more importantly, let you know that we are back and we are trying to get back into this YouTube grind a little bit better. Um, we got a lot of information, a lot of experience, a lot of fun times that we want to talk about, share with everybody else. So, yeah, we appreciate it. And uh, hopefully it won't be another five months until you see us again. <laughs> but we appreciate if you just like the video, subscribe to the channel and uh, follow along in our crazy journey. And if you need to go anywhere, for the low price of free, 50 free. Hit her up for the services. Instagram is magic, magic done right. Facebook, also, magic done right. Yep. So, with uh the company Magical Travel, so the services are completely free. And once people figure that out, they blow her up. Then <laughs> I got fifty questions, none of them cost anything. All right, send me here, send me here, send me here. It's great. So our job is to make your travel super easy and stress free. So, so far, what is it? shoot me an email. Dang, good job. That's it, right? Yep. All right. Oh, happy birthday. Thank you. It's her birthday. It just turned 25. <laughs> Again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. That's it for us. Thank you. And don't forget, if you want to make your trip magical, you know where to go. See you. Bye.